गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज डॉक्टर राजकुमार आर्य एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग एन आई टी जालंधर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन मॉडलिंग ऑफ नॉन आइसोथर्मल सी एस टी आर विद प्लग फ्लो कूलिंग जैकेट सो इन दिस केस वट यू हैव दैट यू हैव द जैकेट एंड यू आर नॉट गिविंग ए सफिशेंट कंडीशंस so that this uh, jacket will get a uniform temperature or you can throw out this particular jackets so there would be a mismatch between the temperature here the inlet temperature tj and exit temperature there will be sufficiently huge difference so in that case either you can say the temperature rise is the significant inside the jacket so perfect mix flow cannot be considered so in that case we are calculating the jacket the average temperature inside the jackets so tj0 tj exits and divide by 2 so this is just a averaging consideration here rest of the equations are same as was case in the case of the non isothermal cstr with mixed flow jackets so still we can write the equation for this case also so the re reaction equation is same a is converted to b with the rate constant k reaction is anthorder with respect to a and heat of reaction exothermic heat of reaction is the lambda to remove the heat you have a cooling jacket outside of that and the jacket is not perfectly mixed it is in plug flow region here so in that case uh, the average temperature needs to be considered here metal wall is considered to be thin so that thermal inertia was not being considered so the whatever temperature inside the reactor same temperature of metal wall is being considered so the overall heat transfer area rate is given by this q equal to u a h t minus t j u is overall heat transfer coefficient a h is heat transfer area t is reaction temperature t j is jacket temperatures here now heat transfer area could vary with the hold up of the reactor if the same area was not complete leave with the reaction mass liquid at all time so this is quite common then total mass balance so d uh, m upon dt inside the reactor rho f not minus rho f so density is considered to be constant throughout so you will get db upon dt equal to f not minus f now the component balance of a inside the reactor so d b c a upon d t f not c a not minus f c a minus k b c a to the power n energy balance inside the reactors d rho v into h upon d t energy accumulated inside the reactor and that will be coming into the reactor and that will be going out from the reactors and that will be generated with the reactions and energy removed by the cooling jackets so here t minus tj average actually so we have taken the average temperature of the jacket previously in case of mix case we have taken here t jacket actually now uh, then we are putting here that h equal to c into t so by substituting that this is our governing equations rho cp d bt upon dt rho f c p t not minus t lambda v k c a to the power n minus u s t minus t g average now jacket energy balance the energy the enthalpy within the jacket equal to that enthalpy coming with the cooling fluid enthalpy going out with the cooling water then heat transfer from reactor to the jacket by taking the jacket average temperature now here we are taking h equal to cj into tj 
so we are getting the rho j b j c j d t j upon d t equal to f j rho j c j t j zero minus t j a plus u a h t minus t j where average jacket temperature was considered here the inlet temperature to the jacket exit temperature of the jacket divided by two. Now the flow rate out from the reactor is being calculated by the flow controller Kb B minus Bm H equal to Cpt Hj equal to Cjt uh, Arrhenius equation is being considered K equal to K0 exponential minus E upon Rt Now the governing equations you have now the variables five unknowns B, F, C, A, T and Tj Initial conditions we need, we need to solve is T0, F0, CA0, FJ. Now as variable hold up inside the reactors, so active area for heat transfer, neglecting the flat bottom of the vertical cylinders. So this is the way we are balancing the volume inside the reactor. So this way we are calculating area for heat transfer here for VYD. So this way we can calculate all unknown variables by any simulation techniques or ODE45 or MATLAB. Thank you.